welcome back. You're watching We on Breakfast. And it's time now to see what the newspapers are reporting this morning as Satya and I read the headlines and between the lines. Well, in the Times of India section, um, the plus one page has a really interesting uh, report about Pluto, which is, of course, as we know, the furthermost planet in our solar system. And uh, we were talking about how love is in the air, Satya. Yes, and it, it is. seems that love has, in fact, reached the outer edges of our solar system. Because I told you. <laughs> on Pluto, uh, there's a new spacecraft called New Horizons, which is the first one of its kind to go out so deep into space and to actually do some deep-rooted investigations into Pluto. And they have discovered a heart-shaped landmass. A heart-shaped landmass? It land actually mass? looks like a little heart. It's very, very cute on the tiniest, uh, well, not a planet anymore, unfortunately, but what used to be a planet when I was in school uh, of the solar system. And it has also discovered that Pluto may harbor a vast liquid ocean lying deep beneath the IT, icy dwarf planet's frozen heart. I'm stuck at the heart. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. So much talk about love today. So much talk about love. I know. And here is uh, another interesting article. I told you, we just saw a story where even in old age, you can find love. Now guess what? Scientists have discovered that old mice can be rejuvenated with blood of teens. What? I'm telling you. So this is in the DNA paper that I picked up this morning. Mm -hmm. And um, scientists have found that the mice with human plasma, yeah, human plasma actually started behaving in the same manner as younger ones. What, you mean like running around trees? Exactly. Enjoying romantic movies, trying to enact them? Exactly That's that. So funny. Exactly <laughs> that. So it is uh, running around open spaces with the vigor they didn't previously have. There were also evidence of the treated mice showing higher mental activity. When placed in the familiar mouse maze, known as the Barnes maze, which is used to study memory and spatial learning, the researchers discovered the plasma, hu uh, the human plasma infused mice mm -hmm. were performing at higher levels than normal. That's very, very sweet. I'm telling you, there's hope for all of us. <laughs> Well, there's another really interesting story in the Hindustan Times, page one, um, which uh, where they talk about how they've discovered another pyramid within the Kukulkan pyramid in eastern Mexico. Mm -hmm. Now, this pyramid was actually inside another existing pyramid. A meta pyramid. Yes, it's like it's they, they've literally described it as an ancient structure that was built like a Russian nesting doll. Nesting doll. <laughs> and it's not a small pyramid either. It's not like something that you could miss. It's 10 meters tall. That that's about large. 33 feet tall. That, that's wow. a pretty large structure. Indeed. So yeah, this discovery suggests that uh, this particular pyramid known as the castle was actually built in three phases and it was built like a Russian nesting doll. Now the reason behind it, mm -hmm. uh, well that's anyone's guess, but structures were built one on top of the other for various reasons including deterioration mm -hmm. or the arrival of a new leadership. Um, so experts are still debating about why there's a pyramid within a pyramid. That is an interesting question. Pyramids, clearly, they represent a certain old world. Now, coming back from the old world, you know, there's an interesting article, uh, something that we associate with old age, making wills. Mm. Now, you know, it doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be related to old age. That is just a responsibility that we have to just pass on what we think is, um, we would like to pass on to the younger ones. In the Mint, there is an interesting article on how to make a will on your own. Okay, so you mean I can write my own will. There you go. If you are well versed with what you own and who you want to bequeath to, mm. you can make a will on your own in just a few steps. Yeah, so how does it work? You should know what you own to mm. start with. Always a good idea. Always <laughs> a good idea. Make that list. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, who will be the beneficiaries? Hmm. Yes. So even uh, if you have a beneficiary in mind who is different from what the law stipulates, mention this in the will. Right. Yeah. Any person can be a be beneficiary, including a charitable organization or a public or a private trust. I believe even pets qualify. I've read somewhere that you can actually leave 
you know, a small trust fund so that your pet is well taken is well taken care of even when you're not there. I think that's a very noble thought. Mm. I, would I would do, do that. that. I would do that for sure. And then there are e-wills. Yeah. So one convenient way of making a will on your own is to make it online. And there are several websites. There is uh, e easywill.com, HDFC Securities, e-will, willgenie.com. There are several. There are several websites that help you do that. That's fantastic. Then, there are procedural requirements. Mm -hmm. Whether you make a will online or offline, some rules are common for a will to be valid. It has to be signed by two witnesses. Can't get right. one day. Yeah? That's right. That's right. You can't just draft something one day and that can't just qualify as a will. It has to be properly it vetted. It has to be. And uh, there you well, go. That's very and, interesting. And uh, the key is to make the will comprehensive and clearly worded. A registered will, remember, can also be contested. Oh, I see. Yeah. So the same rules apply. The Whether you do it apply. online or you do it offline, it is important to make a will. And like I said, know what you own, know your beneficiaries, and then put it all down because this is a responsibility that we need to do while all our faculties are in place, yes. well and healthy. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't. I actually come from a family of lawyers and I, I, I know that making a will is paramount, paramount importance and yeah. it, it is not age dependent at all. Everybody. Um, everybody should have a will. All right. Well, uh, you know, the weekend is coming up here in the national capital and there's a lot to offer. There are food. There is a lot of really good food to look forward to now that winter is setting in here in Delhi. And it's and Friday. And it's Friday. And the theatre season has finally begun. Now, this Yay. is something I really, really look forward to. And there's some great plays that are on mm -hmm. um, uh, in the coming week. Uh, Girish Karnad's new play, directed by Alik Padamsi, features Shabana Azmi playing two people. Two sisters, one of whom is intellectually brilliant and the other is a writer. The play is called Broken Images and it's going to be on on November 18th in New Delhi. And there is another play that mm -hmm. I read about which I, I found very exciting. Again, guess what the theme is? Tell me it's love. It is. Oh. It is. So this is uh, New Zealand actor Jacob Rajan. Mm -hmm. uh, Jacob Rajan is of Indian origin and he... Uh, he has made this play which has won many, many awards uh, in the last... The play has evolved over the last 20 years and it began as a drama school project to answer the question, can you say one kind of love is superior to the other? And in the last 20 years, it, uh, has, it was sold out at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. It won the Fringe first and, and it won the production of the year. It has made audiences laugh and cry at almost 400 shows worldwide. And this play is now coming to India. And the theme of the play is very, very interesting. Growing up in New Zealand, Jacob Rajan was exposed to two kinds of love. The romance shown in movies, music and novels. And that which cannot be named, which is present in arranged marriages. And something that he got to see firsthand in his parents' marriage, who had mm -hmm. actually met the first time at their wedding. And uh, this is a very common story in India, of course. Sure. And he writes about how he was very curious about what kind of love is really, um, is, is more superior. Is it, is it that, that, that crazy romantic love that you see in movies? Or is it this very different, stable sort of, so I would say love that he, he saw in his parents' marriage. And so he went, he, wants, he was very curious about it. He went out and one of the stories that mm -hmm. he came across uh, during his research was of a man who sold his dairy after his wife died and went back to India. And a year later, he returned and brought back the place. And this triggered the thought that the dairy had become a monument to their love. Very much like the Taj Mahal is a monument to the yes. love of a very famous royal Mughal couple. Yes. So, so this is the kind of dynamics that this play explores. And it's on in Delhi this weekend. And I, for one, have got a full diary now, Satya. I know exactly what I'm doing with my weekend. And I'm going to be going talking out about and watching what great plays. And talking about <laughs> what kind of love is superior. Well, you know what? Love is superior. Period. It's superior to everything. It's in the air. It's on Pluto. And on that very nice note, we will take a very short break and we'll be right back. You're watching We on Breakfast.